it's mm. uh, it's good fun, it's good character building, and uh, yeah. it it helps us kind of develop you know develop things because it's uh, that's one of the thing I'm, I'm trying to work on now is not just being you know oh we just sell stuff yeah like either expanding the businesses or actually me yeah. going out and interacting making other doing... people sell stuff for you. <laughs> Yeah, like like making like an actual legitimate caravan. Like if I could step back, like bring this stuff, and then if people like as an administrative role, mm-hmm. like actually run run the run the circus of our run the the royal bull as an actual like caravan director. So coordinate with security, coordinate with logistics. Yeah, uh, go out and talk to different factions and go and do that. I think that'd be fun. I, as much as I do like selling stuff, and then <laughs> instead of giving a sales pitch, you could start giving your motivational speeches to all of your sales associates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. <laughs> those are rookie numbers, kid. Those are rookie numbers. Um, um, that's why I kind of like the, the Omega events now. I'm kind of branching out. Yeah. And I mean, I've definitely taken on more of a um, diplomatic role and stuff like that. I'm more going out doing the missions and quests and stuff, as well as communicating with other factions to make sure that there's no hard feelings or whatever. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely you you have more flexibility than you once had, if only because of stuff like that, because yeah. Like I'm not as worried about leaving you there as I might have used to be. So I'm more flexible now with what I can do, which basically allows you to be more flexible as well. Yeah. At first it was a bit tough because again it's it's we're we're out in the open, we're trying a new thing and it seemed to it worked out. People actually yeah. generally liked having a uh, an independent merchant from you know the Balahack field to sell pretty much sell anything. anything. Some of the other merchants are <laughs> they're, limit, they're limited on what they can sell. It's only like now I will say, yeah. are you so have you guys ever contemplated opening up like another location but still keeping the same location as well? Like just have two yeah. separate. Now that now that they've added a bunch of stuff at Balahack in the town, I'd yeah. like to do a do have like a store at a. Um, at the CV around, around the pond bunkers, do one in town and then do one up north or do one at like. Um, I'd love to, to do page. one at Purple Coat's place at New Market. Yeah. Because for, yeah, because that's another uh, another busy place. So being able to do those three, the problem is finding people. three separate people to be essentially. Uh, their own they would they would be able to you know sell or to take on the take on the mantle of yes you are circus of value uh yeah i trust you with the name because again if they act up or if they're you know shysting people then it's it it brings my reputation down yep and then Um, i have to come in and i was gonna say i was gonna (laughs) suggest like if if you if you didn't move it the quote-unquote of value thing could still remain but you would like still hold rights for circus of value at you know this location like if you were to make a one in like the town somewhere let's just say for example yeah you made one in the town it could be called like something of value but it would still hold the of value sort of deal okay uh, yeah. it it almost be like a kind of like a carl's junior like a you know branding I mean? like it's, thing. it's hardy's it's obviously hardy's but it's carl's junior uh is the a separate name but yeah right right uh it could be like something else of value but yeah. circus of value like is in a, especially when it comes to location wise like if if uh i can see people running into problems like if there's a circus of value both here and here it's like okay well yeah. which one sort of deal yeah oh it's true because yeah because it's it, it's unfortunate that the the royal blue is never really taken off as a name usually whenever people refer to the pond bunkers it's always the circus of value yeah yeah it used to be the royal blue and i think we ended up kind of like overshadowing them after a while yeah the the other store would have to be smaller it would be the circus of miniature value Uh, (laughs) the the first ring of the three ring circus the the coliseum of value ring of value ring of value value. daughter daughter of cap was a Family dollar, but like <laughs> family cap. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, dollar right. general, be cap general. They always have to have dollar in it. Dollar tree, dollar general. 
I don't know if they're owned by the Whatever. same company. Uh, I, I assume they are. Yeah. But I, I do love going there, though, because it's... And there's just a dollar store. That's true. There's just a dollar store. Uh, don't sleep on the on the dollar general franchise. It's it got some good uh, uh, good stuff there. They uh, also no, I, I look, make on sure the to roads, build dude, like, on the freaking roads everywhere. to to and fro events, especially when it comes to perdition and deso survive omega events. Snacks. Those dollar generals come oh, yeah. in fucking clutch. Oh, yeah, they yes. come in clutch. So Cola like, trees, oh. snacks, drinks, everything. Every oh, yes. everything would be closed, and it's like, oh my gosh, I need a quick snack, and I also need to take a piss. Where can I do that at? Well, this 7-Eleven is closed and also doesn't have a bathroom. Guess yeah. what? This Dollar General takes its marketing sort of values directly from Waffle House and will stay <laughs> open, rain, sleet, snow, and hail, just for that person who's going to an event at yep. 3 in the morning that needs to go to the bathroom and buy a bag of chips. Yep. With, uh, with Folder Gap, too, there's a dollar store that's uh, nearby. I always, I always stop there and get, like, snacks. Cause it's yeah. If you go to the gas station, the snacks are like you know a couple bucks per, like three or four bucks depending on what you're getting. Oh yeah. Go to the dollar store. It's all a dollar, baby. It's in the name. Except I think Family <laughs> Dollar. I think Family Dollar. It's cheap. It's not a dollar though. It's usually really like reduced prices. Yeah. It's still good though. Like I still highly recommend it. Um. Uh. Yeah. You can also get like canned goods there. So like as far as like me prepping wise, I usually go please, there and get like please rice. sponsor us Dollar General. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually go there and get like beans and rice and uh, some other odds and ends. That would be uh, funny. Not and grocery wrong. shopping too. Uh, condiments. Uh, they have <laughs> the circus value is sponsored by the top store. Use use follow man radio as ten percent discount when you're talking to your clerk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna dive off. Fall of Man Radio uh, slash Dollar, dollar, or gen plug. dollar General <laughs> slash Fall of Man Radio. <laughs> that would be hilarious. The, the apocalypse, the Dollar Store cartel would. Uh, I I know that together. eventually, if if things work out, I'm I am going to get that Raid Shadow Legends email. Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> My favorite character, the Dollar General. <laughs> and I, I and it'll be that. some oh, massive God. sum of money. And I'll just be like, oh, God damn. Sure, it. fuck it. <laughs> I always I always feel bad when uh what's his doodle? Uh Mad um uh, uh what's the guy does Mad Lads? Uh Count Thank you. Yeah, Count, when Count Diglett does it, because you can kind of tell it's like he's just doing it, just, you know, because no one else will oh, sponsor him. I, I love how he's always this like, it's your boy. by Ray Shadow Legend. <laughs> he, like, he mocks the audience, because he goes, it's yep. your boy, Ray it's Shadow boy, Legends. Ray Sh <laughs> Same with uh, when Internet Historian did a Ray Shadow Legends live stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're, all they we're just doing is talking about uh, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh yeah. Like event, I get, I get Nord the marketing, VPN. like the exposures yeah. everywhere. But I think like what eventually gets to people is just why the hell is it talked about so much? And it just piques their curiosity to the point where it's like, all right, fuck it, let me download it real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what this is all about. See, see, if, some... if Mika came right. to me and wanted me to sponsor Girls Frontline, I will do it in a heartbeat. But like, would, I don't know cool. about fucking raid. I don't care how much money they're willing raid to give me. Channel Legends. <laughs> what if they? What if they want to give you two dollars? Red Bull, if you're listening. <laughs> big red if you don't chew it or if you don't chew big we red, have to do you. crazy thrill stuff before they sponsor us we gotta have big red arrows pointing to stuff and dumb exaggerated like us reaction faces yeah um, I never believe this I mean I, I would really eventually love to um, maybe maybe we'd have to do like a, a Kickstarter or something for this, but like get a Kickstarter or something to do a mini series, where it's like yeah. all of us doing Wasteland shit. Wasteland Radio, we bring Hollywood home. And I don't. I mean, 
I would like to do face cam and stuff for even this eventually. Um, I mean, our faces are, are, are practically already out there with all the pictures we've shown. Um, I'm, I'm ugly as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I just think <laughs> it would be better if we if we got to the point where like we had a studio ish environment i guess it doesn't have to yeah, be I'll actually, necessarily I a studio mind, though yeah i wouldn't mind actually getting a, a webcam for this for the computer i, I do plan to get some modern soon so they might be built in and that like, that doing that, like a background scenery is. Mm -hmm. and then when Put we the do the call value through the roof yeah Dude. when we actually do the calls i could be in gear yeah that's that's the plan because i know that um yeah, that'd be super dope other youtubers you're have done super it. dope in fact you know what, real quick i'm gonna um, know you go ahead and <gasps> wrap up the stream so we'll we'll right. talk a little bit uh, it's more already afterwards. three in the morning <laughs> um because now we're just getting into oh, yeah, future like, yeah. plan stuff but um yeah. so thank you all for watching if you were here um please leave us stream a like subscribe follow whatever you need to do and comment Especially let me know what store. you think <laughs> <laughs> and uh we'll see you next friday you should, uh, for fall of man radios a... episode two As topic always. pending <laughs> 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 and as always, Wastelanders, good luck go. out there. <laughs> Hell yeah.